Canada's men's national team were looking to end their May camp in Austria on a high after a promising 1-1 draw against Bulgaria. This time they were taking on Moldova who were coming off a 4-0 thumping of Saudi Arabia before making the trip over to Austria to take on Canada. And it's the Moldovans picking up where they left off just six minutes in as Eugenio Sidorenko gets on the end of a cross and heads it in. Unmarked in the middle there and it's 1-0 Moldova. Canada, despite going down a goal for the second straight game, were undaunted and quickly rebound as they win a corner kick. And then, as was the case on Friday against Bulgaria, a dangerous play for Canada. And Tosaint Ricketts, this time, is the man to put it home. He was the one who earned Canada the penalty by taking a boot in the face against Bulgaria. But this time, it's a much more comfortable way to earn Canada a goal. And it's 1-1. Canada pressing for more. The cross comes in from the right-hand side. Moldova unable to clear it. The ball's knocked back to Simeon Jackson, but his left-footed volley just goes wide of the post. Canada remained on the offensive for much of the first half. Julian de Guzman wins the ball with a nice tackle with about five minutes remaining in the half. He passes it up to Randy Edwini Bonsu, who's off to the races. Edwini Bonsu's taken down, which means a free kick for Canada. And Nick Ledgerwood crosses in from the right-hand side. It looks like Hutchinson gets a tip to it. But it's actually a Moldovan defender who puts it off the bar and out. Canada wins a corner, but they weren't able to do anything with it. In the second half, Canada owned most of the possession. Jeremy Gagnon Lapare here crosses it in to substitute Kyle Laren, who loses track of the ball here. Knocked over, no penalty given. Laren kept on coming with a few minutes to go. Latches on to a ball over the top, but he puts his shot high and wide. In the end, Canada had all of the possession for much of the second half. Can't find the winner and had to settle for a 1-1 draw. They end the camp in Austria with two draws, but two very solid performances. Canada will next see action in September at BMO Field against Jamaica. As that date will fall under the FIFA international calendar, we'll likely see the best Canada has to offer with both European-based players as well as North American-based players.